I'm meeting my buddy out on the lake. My buddy Steve Williams, that is, the guy I wrote Redneck Yacht Club with. Hey, Steve. Hey, buddy. Come forward. We're the songwriters. I'm here in Nashville today on Percy Priest Lake with my good friend and co-writer Steve Williams. Hey, isn't that where they shot that video for Pontoon? Glad to be back in our old stomping grounds. Yeah, good to have you back. Yeah, this is the lake that uh, Redneck Yacht Club is about. I don't know if you were with me on this trip, but we were leaving BNA, the airport here in Nashville, and one of the TSA guys said, uh, I had a Redneck Yacht Club shirt on, and he says, uh, oh, he goes, hey, you know, the old boys that wrote that song, they wrote it right across the way here at the yeah. lake. <laughs> and I, and I just true. said, really? Oh, that's awesome. You know, so. Well, you know, the funny thing, though, is I remember we wrote a lot of songs on your old pontoon boat, but Redneck Yacht Club, I think we wrote on land. I think we wrote that on Music Row somewhere. Uh, yeah. Actually, I remember coming over to your house in Donaldson. Oh, that's right. For the, the little, first for the first time, yeah. Yeah, the little. Uh, I had a little office out back. Yeah, and then my house. Uh, that's where we started it. And then we finished it up at an undisclosed place. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so. One of those shadowy writers' rooms that had no window. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. I don't miss that. <laughs> I'd rather write out here. This yeah. is way better. Well, we had. Well, we did the research out here. <laughs> that's right. Lots of research. Years. Yes. Years of research we did out here. Had to drink beer in the hot sun all weekend oh, long. Tough. Yeah, but uh, you, you know. don't want to do this for a living. Don't be a songwriter. It's hey, too hard. And the video we shot out here was uh, in the month of May. It was at the end of May. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, a beautiful day, much like today. That's right. Uh, that was great. Craig Morgan recorded the song Redneck Yacht Club, and uh, it was a number one hit. Was that your first number one? It was. That was my second number one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good day. Yeah, good, great video too. We had to uh, yeah. had to incorporate uh, some some cruisers and some pontoon boats and gather you know gather the troops as they say. Oh yeah, so. that was fun. So now when so the idea for this song, now I think your wife Terry thinks that she came up with this idea, but <laughs> you told me a story about uh, uh, you took uh, your old pontoon boat out on the lake one day yeah we bought this pontoon boat you know they if they when they say if something sounds too good to be true it probably is uh -huh. well, my wife said hey my dad knows of this pontoon boat in missouri that's for sale for thirty five hundred dollars and uh, i said honey we can't afford a boat she says only thirty five hundred bucks so we went up there we dragged this pontoon po boat back to nashville launched it in the lake um Anyway, it, it, the boat turned out to be a piece of crap because it would break down on us everywhere we went, you know. <laughs> and so every time we'd try to go on a, a cruise or whatever, we so we're sitting out in the middle of the lake waiting for somebody to tow us back in. And uh, I'm looking back at the marina, and I said, oh, this place looks like a redneck yacht club. And, of course, Terry said, that's a great idea for a song. Why don't you write that? She thinks everything that we say is an idea for yeah, a song. You know? Yeah, yeah. Is your wife like that? No, but uh, <laughs> but all my Facebook friends are. Anything you say on Facebook, that's yeah. a song. Yeah, that's a song. It's got to be a song. So anyway, I, I said, yeah, that is a good idea for a song. And then um, I think I just kept it, you know, in my hook book, as they say, you know, for the longest time. And then one morning I was leaving to write like I did every day in those days. And she said... Uh, who are you writing with today? And I said, Tom Shepard. She goes, oh, he'd be a good one for, to write Redneck Yacht Club with. So I remember coming over to your house in Donaldson and we we worked on it. And I, I think I had like one line or two and, you know, and we just had, it was one of those songs where we thought, hey, even if nobody records this song, let's just have fun with it. And we, yeah. did, and we did. And uh, lo and behold, sometimes those are the songs that get cut, you know. That's true, because I remember when you first told me the idea, I thought, I thought, I like it, but... Nobody's really doing songs about rednecks right now at that time. This was in 2003 when we wrote this song. Yeah. And I remember saying to you, uh, you know, maybe I like it, but, you know, maybe we should spend our time writing something that Rascal Flatts or Keith Urban should record. That's how we're going to keep our songwriter right. jobs. Right. And I remember <laughs> right after we wrote the song, uh, Redneck Woman came out. Yeah. And so at, at that point, when we, when, at the point where we started to write Redneck Yacht Club, the only songs that we could remember that had Redneck in it was uh, White Sox and Blue Ribbon yeah, and, right. and that kind of stuff. It sounded so old school, you know. Yeah. I think we, we wanted to shy away from it, but we just had fun with it anyway. So To me, that's I found over the years, that's where the best songs come from, is the ones where you're not shooting to get it recorded by somebody. You're just writing it because it's you yeah. and it's your story and it's what you want to talk about. Time and time again, that's to me has been the ones that I've, I've had success with. Right. 
And in, uh, you know, you're talking about uh, young songwriters. We were talking about it earlier. And uh, w one thing I like to tell young songwriters when they say, well, how do you come up with an idea? Or how, are the, you come up with the music first or the idea first? And I always say, for me, it starts with the idea because, uh, and then the idea will determine what tempo the song is. Right. Like Redneck Yacht Club is not going to be a ballad, right? No. It's not going to be a love song. Yeah. So it's got to be kind of rocking and fun, you know. Yeah. And so, uh, so that's... I also remember when we wrote that yeah. song, I was thinking that it needed to be faster. Like I thought it needed to be that, like, dunka, 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 dunka. And you yeah. talked me out of it. Thank <laughs> God. Thank God you talked me out of it. It's the beat that it is. Yeah, that would have been, that would have sucked. <laughs> So the beat that it has is perfect, but uh, there was one other change that got made to the song uh, before it even got to Craig Morgan. Uh, I took yeah, the song yeah. to my publisher at the time, uh, her name was Lisa Ramsey, and, and I played her the song, and in the second verse we had a line that said, that's Bob, with the hairy back, <laughs> and she said, oh, oh, I just, I hate that, you got, you have to change that, that's so gross. All I think about after you play that song is hairy back. Yeah. So uh, she's like, you got to change that. <laughs> so we changed it at the last minute. So people ask me, why didn't Craig Morgan record Harry back? It's like, well, he never heard that version. He heard, the, he heard that's Bob, he's the president. Right. I do that sometimes uh, when I'm doing a writer's show, I'll do that that verse. And it always gets a good laugh. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's another key thing. That's what a publisher is good for, though, sometimes, is to give you that honest feedback. Because if yeah. we had had Harry back in it and Craig Morgan thought it was gross, he might not have recorded it. Yeah, and so, I, I, see Lisa, I see Lisa from time to time out here on the lake. She's got a boat. And... Um, I, I, I told her one day, I said, yeah, you were right. Yeah, Thank you were right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's right. so, now, this this boat here, wasn't this boat uh, bought with Redneck Yacht Club? Money? Yeah, in fact, I had, <laughs> we had the pontoon boat, uh, the old one that used to break down. And then we bought a nicer pontoon uh -huh. that didn't break down so much. But I kind of fell on some hard times before we wrote Redneck Yacht Club, and I had to sell that pontoon boat. So when we had a hit song, I said, okay, I'm going to buy this cabin cruiser, which we're sitting on right now. Yep. And no one's going to take it away from me. I'm just paying cash for it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's good. So that's the rest is history, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's do the song. All right. All right. It goes like this. Out on the lake, we're headed out to a special place we love. But just a few folks know there's no signing up, no monthly dues. Take your Johnson, your Mercury, or your Red and Root. Fire up, meet us out of party call. Hey, come on in, the water's fine. Just dive along over, toss us a line. Rockin' the boat, that's us, the Redneck Yacht Club. Hey. Bermuda's flip-flops and a tank top tan. Hey, Bobby's first top at 10 a.m. That's Bob, with the hairy back. Well, he's shaking out the girls on the upper deck. Rubbing in the 15 SPF, it's hot. Dang, Bob's gonna have a heart attack. Later on, when the sun goes down, we'll pull out the jar and that old guitar. And pass them around by the tracker, beta liners, and a party barge strung together like a trailer park. Club. Hey, 
day when the party's over and we're all alone. We're making waves in a no-wake zone. Fast trackers, bayliners, and a party barge strung together like a floating trailer park. Anchored out, getting loud all summer long. Side by side, there's five household front porches. Past the turf, lawn chairs, and tiki torches. Regular Joes, rocking the boat. That's us. That's the number one song that we wrote called Redneck Yacht Club. Be sure to visit redneckyachtclub.com. We got t-shirts, we have boat flags, we have koozies. We got everything, don't we? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and leave us a comment below. Where do you get together with your own Redneck Yacht Club? What lake? What river? Where's your chapter? And if you want to find out more about writing songs and taking your songs to the next level, then please visit TomShepard.com. And we'll see you next time. We're the song.